Hey there, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Well, got another little tips and trick for you. Um, I learned this at Arbor Fest West here this last year. Um, thank you guys, appreciate this cool tip. It's a lanyard trick, so you'll come with me. Pretend you're out on a limb walk and you're trying to get in good position. So I'm gonna work my way out over here to this side. Now I've got this limb that I wanna use for positioning. And so I'm gonna, you know, typically you just kind of pass your lanyard around it, clip back to yourself whatever, and now I've got my position. Well, let's just say this is okay, but now I gotta get down here somewhere, um, and I don't have enough lanyard for that. So I could, you know, if I just let my lanyard out, I got about this much distance and that's it. So one of the cool alternatives that you can do, I'm just gonna bring my lanyard back in, is you can actually take a munter hitch and clip that on your lanyard carabiner and now I can back out. Now I can back out on this knot here and lower myself the full length of my lanyard. And so I can get almost twice as much distance out of that as I had before, which is really handy in a pickle. So if you wanna come back in here a little closer one more time, got this great munter hitch. And what the advantage of that is I don't, I'm not cross-loading the carabiner and I'm not using it in a way that it's not meant for. Cause yes, theoretically I could choke that off, um, but this is gonna apply uh, a cross-load or a, uh, a, to the gate and to this length of the carabiner, which is not designed for. And so instead of doing that, you can tie a munter, real simple little knot. Ugh, this carabiner is just a little bit small. And now that carabiner is loaded in a way that it's designed for, and I can still use the full length of my, my lanyard for positioning. Now, the Petzl Zeon's not uh, rated for life support in this configuration, but um, if you had a lanyard that is rated for life support, then you could even have that as a, as a secondary life support tie-in, or you could put a, a rope wrench or something uh, on this to add some friction. So anyway, that's my tip and trick for the day. Thank you. If you got some other questions you want to know, things, uh, just let me know in the comments. If you want me to review any other gear, happy to do that as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.